Hello, this is Bill Clodsey. Welcome to an Oath of the Gatewatch draft, where we can start out inverted here. We can, <laughs> oh man. Uh, wow, the best three cards are black. Oblivion Strike, Essence Depleter, which is even better than Oblivion Strike in my estimation, and Inverter of Truth, which is fun, but just not, not as good as Essence Depleter. So, fun or no fun at all? Actually, Essence Depleter is very fun. It's sort of a build around and kind of want to see where that goes. I've had Essence Inverter of Truth uh, be my downfall. If your opponent ever blinks it, oh, this was it. So they had uh, the white creature that blinks your guy. And the turn after I played Inverter of Truth and put eight cards in my library, they... <laughs> They uh, blinked it, and I uh, immediately lost the game. So it's kind of a liability sometimes. Eldrazi Mimic, uh, Stalking Drone, Void Shatter, Warden of Geometries. Warden of Geometries keeps us open. Eldrazi Mimic is... he's okay. Its flavor text says it all. It's consistently inconsistent. But it's kind of a lie because it's consistently a 2 1, and that's just okay. Ah, oh, Void Shatter Mimic. Well, we can keep ourselves kind of open. I'm considering the Warden of Geometries, but I'll just take the Mimic here and see where we go from there. All right, Blinding Drone setting ourselves up here to, to have a pretty good deck. So Blinding Drone will look for a lot of colorless sources. Of note is that there are not so many black cards here. There's zero. I mean, Corpse Churn doesn't really qualify as a, you know, one of the first five picks. You don't really pick Corpse Churn. Kozilex Shrieker is a nice one. Yeah, I think it's worth picking up over the holdout settlement, even though we'll have to prioritize colorless land. Once we pick up enough things that require colorless, we can start snapping up all the wastes and, and who knows what. So blue-black colorless is, is the direction we're going here. If and I open a big Eldrazi or um, or some white life gain cards, I could switch over to that direction. Like Step Glider is pretty good, <clears throat> not not good enough for me to want to switch into white, where I could just take Hedron Crawler or Containment Membrane. But let's just go full colorless. Crumbling Vestige is another good one here. But the crawler is pretty consistent, and I like picking it up. Kozlex Translator. That's pretty much what this deck wants. The Reflector Mage is interesting. Um, the Waste is not the worst, but I'll take the Translator. And Slaughter Drone. Yeah, th this is a nice one passing in other wastes, but the wastes aren't the, the most important for the deck. They get passed around pretty late, and the the other common colorless lands that tap for other types of mana, those are what you really want. You might want one waste in your deck max. The exception would be if you had Walker of the Wastes, and then you can try to fill up your deck with a few more wastes as many as you think you won't destroy your mana base. Because they don't do much. The nice part about picking up pure colorless cards like this is that you won't need quite as many black and blue sources. It's almost like you're splashing black and blue. Hey, Kozlux Shrieker. Yeah, this guy... This guy's pretty nice. I mean, he's just average if you only have a few sources, but once you get a bunch... <laughs> we only have two sources right now, but... 
again, we can start prioritizing those. All right, Warping Whale and Slip Through Space. I don't mind having a Warping Whale. This kills a few utility creatures. Void Shatter, a little hard to cast. Pathfinder. This is a very bland looking deck. Look at this. No color at all. Essence Depleter. Just funny looking things. Pull all the best cards to the bottom. So we have Blinding Drone, Depleter. <laughs> those are those are our business cards right now. Everything else is decent but not great. Spark Mage's Gambit. I wonder if an opponent would bring that in against us. We do have Eldrazi Mimic and Blinding Drone. Or sorry, Hedron Crawler, which both get killed by it. Uh, I'm not worried about anything else. Natural State. It doesn't really mess with us. It does kill Hedron Crawler and possibly some other blue enchantments we might pick up. Containment Membranes and the like. What is going on in this picture? <laughs> you know, I don't usually stop and look at pictures, but uh, oh hey, thought knots here. Yeah, that's great. Uh, another reason to pick up more colorless sources. Another couple good cards in this pack: Havoc Sower and a third Shrieker, Warden, Unknown Shores. Maybe we'll wheel something from this pack. Okay, next up. We have Thought Harvester, which is a legitimate win condition since all of the cards in our deck are colorless. And now we really need to prioritize some colorless lands, wastes, and things. Someone's taking them. It doesn't happen in every draft, but in some drafts, you get cut. All right, what do we have here? Yeah, like in this pack. I'm going to take Holdout Settlement here because it's just better to have our first colorless land than not. We have enough cards now that I'm not worried about getting enough playables. It's really just about making it all work. Okay. Nice. Seer's Lantern. Hopefully we can wheel this waste. But again, someone seems to be picking those up. I have seen a lot of people play Sky Scourer, and it, it's decent. It's a flyer. It attacks for two a lot of the time. But I wouldn't want to play this deck without a Seer's Lantern. <laughs> and Let's see. there's a bunch of playables here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's unlikely we wheel anything we want. But I don't want to be caught without a Sears Lantern. Make a stand. Not for us. Although it is foil. Submerged Boneyard. That'll make mana more consistent. And then Cultivator Drone. Uh, I really hope we get a Wastes, but I will take Cultivator Drone here. It's just better at this point. It's a late Stonehaven Outfitter. Now, we do have a few Accelerants, the Sears Lantern, the Cultivator Drone. I could see taking Kozilek's Pathfinder. It works well with the Mimic. Um, I could also see taking Unnatural Endurance to save our Thought Harvester or Thought Knots here. We have a lot of thinking in this deck. Ugh. Yeah, I'll take the Unnatural Endurance. There, There's better 6-drops that we might pick up in the next pack. 
null color or just a, a decent blue card. Bone saw is not looking great here. Yeah, I want to stick to mostly colorless cards, but here we have to <laughs> to break that. I'll take some card draw. Might not end up playing it. Here's a Gravity Negator and a Sky Scourer. Given that every card in our deck is colorless, this is not a bad, you know, it's not a bad card to do some damage. It does, it fills a similar role to the Gravity Negator, but we'll have other stuff to do with our colorless mana than give a creature flying. So I'll take the Scour. Looks a bit weird. Oh, no, none of the cards we wanted wield. Um, I guess we have our shot at a Gravity Negator. Or Force Spike. Hmm. We have, yeah, we need more colorless lands, but don't mind taking that. Nothing here. Huh. I immediately put comparative analysis into the sideboard. It just it's a scar on our perfectly colorless deck so far. Yeah, so in pack three, we're looking for all of the Blighted Lands. I would be tempted to play a Blighted Land, even if it wasn't one we could activate. Warping Whale is interesting. Some of the time it might be right just to make an Eldrazi Scion with this and then use that Scion to activate something like the Essence Depleter or any number of other cards we have here. Oh, Dampening Pulse, it's so good! Wow. This pack is insane. Can we just take this whole pack? I wonder what would be better, drafting the rest of the picks or taking this whole pack, what would make our deck better? Hedron Archive is probably the correct pick here. Dampening Pulse, man. It'd be amazing if Dampening Pulse could wheel. But playing Hedron Archive and then activating Essence Depleter twice more a turn, that sounds just wonderful. It is colorless itself. It helps ramp up to Pathfinder. Yeah, I'm kind of sold. I'm, I'm taking the Hedron Archive, but the opportunity cost is high. We're, we're passing Dampening Pulse and Complete Disregard. Breaker of Armies, Eldrazi Sky Spawner, Ruin Processor. There's a lot of good ones here. The tiebreaker is that Eldrazi Sky Spawner is amazing. <laughs> I was going to say, since it produces a Scion, it helps activate some things that we might need to. <clears throat> but it's just more consistent, like <clears throat> we could find another big creature. Um, hopefully we do. And there's also a Blighted Gorge, but I'll take this Sky Spawner here. Alright. Shambling Vent, is that any good here? I don't really know. There's also Oracle of Dust and Scour from Existence and Spell Shrivel. How the Tide Caller has fallen. Not very good anymore. Yeah, it's not like. <clears throat> it's not looking like Shambling Vent will be at its best in this deck. And there's not much else here. We don't have many good ways to exile things. We have a Thought Harvester. Maybe we don't play Gravity Negator. Uh, this is tough. I don't think it matters much what we pick in this pack, so I'll just take a Shambling Vent. Oh, interesting. Swarm Surge could be good in this deck. We have <coughs> we have a few aggressive creatures. You know, we have 
the shriekers, this thing, slaughter drone, mimic. <clears throat> this is a legitimate win condition. There's also a ruin processor, but it looks like we'll be a bit more aggressive than that. And we just get as many ruin processors as we want. So, looks like it's time to take a ruin processor. Or two, or three. Hmm. Would we play two, or would we rather have Oracle of Dust? That is the question. I tell you, where are all the... Where are all the colorless lands going? Hmm. I'll take the Oracle of Dust just to hedge. And now we can take a Royal Mage's Trick. I just like that card. I wouldn't be surprised if there's another blue black drafter at this table. Just picking up all the cards on the other end. Come on, Blighted Land or something. We do have the suite of two, three, and four <coughs> drops that make colorless. Scour from existence um, versus spell shrivel. We already have void shatter. I'll take the scour. And not sure if it makes the cut. Okay. So we need a couple cuts here, get down to 23 cards. I can see cutting Oracle of Dust, and then the rest of these look good. Maybe uh, Slip Through Space is pretty good too. I don't want two scours. I could cut Scour. It's a little late. Ooh, do we want to cut Eyeless Watcher? Nah. So, it looks like this deck is an aggressive... <laughs> an aggressive blue-black... Eltrazi deck. As opposed to the usual, more controlling version of the deck. The more controlling version relies on a lot of these colorless things, and our game plan is just get out a bunch of colorless things and attack <laughs> and finish them off with a few essence depleter activations or, or something like that force the last points of damage through with a, a Shrieker or a Pathfinder. So let's get rid of all the colors we're just not playing. Don't think Shambling Vent is worth it. Even though we do have one land that could help activate it. Yeah, so that looks about right. Sort this by color. I missed a lot of opportunities for these lands, but we did take good cards over them. And we do have, like I said, a bunch of ways to activate and make colorless mana. Right, firstly the these four, or these five, but also to a lesser extent the Sky Spawner and the Warping Whale. So pretty even split here. We'll go more black and then cut one of each for the two lands we have. Leaves us with 8, 9, plus a colorless. We could even play Skyline Cascade. We do have a Blinding Drone. 
Yeah, put that in just for value. Alright, that is the deck, and I'll see you back for round one.